Hi, this is Travis for Sliver Surfer 1. You've seen my other videos with the ZN Smooth Q hacks where I've modified the ZN Smooth Q to adapt small or compact cameras to it, including the Sony HX50, the Sony A6000, the Sony QX10, the Sony AS50. They are all good cameras to adapt to it and they work great with uh, the uh, adapters that I've 3D printed or um, you know in one case I made out of popsicle sticks um, but the one thing is th it's difficult to see uh, what you're filming I'm not the, you know they're fine for blogging because of the the hot shoe that I put on them um, but I um, wanted to make a really good blogging camera uh, and I don't uh, you know, the, the point and shoots are fine and everything, but uh, I'm not a big, I prefer interchangeable lens cameras. So, the best, I, I think I've made the best option for a vlogging camera. Okay, this camera's like excellent. Uh, I use it, uh, use it for many videos uh, before. Right now I'm shooting on a uh, Sony E7 hooked up to a monitor with HDMI, but before that, uh, what I used was this. Okay, let's get this over here. <laughs> it's this. Okay, it's the Sony A5000. Okay, what I did was I adopted it for the, the Xeon uh, Smooth Q. I made an adapter for it, as you can see. It works perfectly uh, with this. You can actually vlog and see yourself on the monitor while you're vlogging. Um, and it's got the 16 millimeter lens. This is the same lens I uh, adopted for the Sony A6000 gimbal, um, but uh, I, you know, I did some uh, trial and error and made a whole separate um, bracket for the Sony A5000. It'll also fit on the 5100. Um, you can see how good it works on here. And it's not, it doesn't buzz at all. Um, yeah, see that I made a, a little counterweight that's integrated into there for the, the 16 uh, 2.8. But the other cool thing that I made, I'll, I'll show you on the next video. There's another cool uh, thing that you can do with this one. I'll show you the parts right now, what are on it. I'm gonna turn it around the other way. Here, you know what? I'm gonna, Zoom you in nice and close so you can see it. Okay, so here's what we have. We have a bracket, a counterweight. There's a retainer bolt for the uh, to attach to the uh, Xeon here. You can't. You have to have this up. It includes the camera mount knob. Yeah, here's the back of it. It doesn't actually. Yeah. On the back of it and it includes the counter balance to keep it uh, well balanced. I'm going to show you how well this is balanced when I shut it off. Okay so shutting it off. Look at that. It's shut off and it's not moving. That's how well, well balanced this thing is. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sony A5000. Okay, so I'm back with the A5000. The other thing that I want to show you uh, about it was... Well, I'll just show you right now. This is the, this, this is the size that we have for the, the size of the counterbalance we have for the 16 uh, 2.8 lens. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that off. 
and see how small it is how small it is compared to the one that I use on the A6000 because the A5000 is a lot smaller of a camera and it's uh, center of balance can move further back because the screen pops upwards so I'm going to take one of these I'm going to take this this one here this counterbalance okay I'm going to slip that on And I'm going to take this off and put on this. So now what we have, okay, you can see now that we have the A5000 with the kit buttons. And you know, I'll, hold, I'll turn this on. You can see that it works perfectly fine with the kit lens. So, there you go. So, everybody that has one of these and has the kit can now have super cheap cinematic looking gimbal. I have a link down below to where you can buy these, okay? So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking or disliking, whatever. I have uh, another cool video coming up that a lot of you have been asking me about. Um, I'm gonna start that now um, I'm gonna start making it all right so 